We all know that when it comes to deploying profiles, they can be very difficult to deal with. There's a lot of complicated changes and a lot of times we're getting settings and properties pushed out to our orgs that they're no longer, uh, they are not ready for yet or do not need. Flowsum addresses that and makes it very easy to resolve these problems. We have two different ways you can ensure that you're only pushing out profile changes that need to be deployed at that specific time. The first way is when you are within your branch, you have a list of the different components in here. If you click on the Get Profile button, you can select the profiles you need. So we are going to our coming from our sandbox. And it will give us a list of the different profiles. And we can select the profiles that we know we need to deploy. And you can select these any given way. Once we click on the Get Profile, it will add those to the branch, but it will only be a partial profile. It will only contain the changes related to the co components listed here. It will not be the entire profile. So now when I deploy this, I know there's no way I'm going to be pushing out changes um, that my orgs aren't ready for yet. <clears throat> the second way, if I bring in all of my changes with my profiles together at one time, those will be entire profiles that are listed in here. And if I want to ensure that I'm only deploying the specific components that are related to this again, I handle that during the actual deployment. This can be configured during the pipeline, but I'll show you how it works in a deployment. When we do our deployment, we select the org, and we have this option, deploy profile settings only for components, uh, selected by default. So again, this ensures that only the parts of that profile are pushed out that need to be for this particular deployment. So if I have a user profile in this deployment that in my sandbox has over 200 changes that haven't been deployed yet, but only three of them relate to components in this deployment, just those three changes get pushed out even though that entire profile is listed in here. Now if I had a new profile I had to push out entirely, I would uncheck this and this will push out profiles as is. But again, this is done by default to save you a lot of time and manual effort um, keeping all of your profiles in sync doing deployments the hard way. Thank you.